Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about topography. Yes, I know this is already the fifth uh, tutorial about topography, but I think it will be interesting because we will create it by Dynamo. So let's start. And first thing what I will do, so I will create the new project. Let's create the new project. Here we are. I will use the standard template, architect template. Uh, and what we're gonna do now, I should save this project. So let's save this project. I will call like top number two. Let's save it. And here we are. Now we will work now only in Dynamo. So let's go to the manage. Here the our Dynamo. Let's go inside. Just a few seconds. Okay, here we are, and here this is my uh, recent um, uh, recent Dynamo script. I not will create it now from the zero. I will show you how it works because uh, it's actually it's pretty simple. Uh, now I will switch off the um, that one. Okay, like this. So how it's working? Uh, for Dynamo, we need to load the uh, higher map. So the what does mean high map? I will show you now. Sorry, not this folder, that one folder. We will use this is high map, and by this map, our um, topography we will create. So the white color it means like highest uh, surface, and black one is the lowest surface. As you understand, this is uh, like normal map in uh, V-Ray or Corona, whatever. Okay, so we will use this map. So now, where is it? Here we are. So I'm just uh, the loading inside the, this map. As you can see, high map PNG. Uh, don't worry about the script. I will leave the below this video so you're able to download it. Uh, no worries about that. Uh, you don't need uh, any extra packages. Just load it up and use it. This is free. This is for you guys. So, but who do who und wanna understand how it works? I am showing and just quick tutorial. So we're loading our uh, PNG. After that, uh, we just uh, showing the path of where is it, and now we are reading uh, from the file. So it means we are reading our image. And a uh, few seconds. And here we getting our image. Um, like samples from our image. I mean the colors. You can see it if I will run it. I will run it and you will see it here. Just a few seconds. Because he creating, uh, I mean, the rabbit creating uh, geometry. That's why it takes time. So here we will get now uh, our colors. As you can see, the color red, green, blue mm, to each dot. So. I have the 100 by 100 dots, it means like I have, uh, hold on, I will calculate, 10,000 dots. So for all 10,000 dots, I have the uh, red, green, blue, alpha colors. So you can see here, for example, for that point, I have the red 10, green 12, blue 9. Uh, after that, I need to make only one number from the red, green, blue. So I'm using the brightness. Uh, we can convert it to the just one uh, one number, as you can see here. And after that, I just uh, increasing it, uh, multiplying it by ten because this is uh, too low uh, to using like meters. But here now we will get like meters, and it's totally enough. And after that, I'm just creating geometry for that because we know that each. Uh, position for each dot you can see here so this is our xyz position and just importing like norm surface you can see it here so and you remember yes i, I did like run uh, the script and you cannot see nothing right i will show you in 3d let's go to 3d this takes time and here is our topography you will see everything if you will use the realistic view so i'm using realistic view and as you see i get my topography from my png file so you can use any png file you can uh, not making like me increasing by 10 you can increasing like 
just you can don't agree with it. I mean the numbers of the Z uh, Z position. So what else uh, we can do? Uh, actually, I will create now topography from uh, this Dynamo script, but by other way, I, because I want to create by uh, messing and topo surface. So how I will do it? Let's go back to the uh, our script. Now I will switch off the points because you can see you, you you already saw what I will get. You will get sorry, and we will transfer our all points to the Python script. So let's transfer our mm, our all points to the Python script. What Python script are actually doing? Actually, the just simple thing they uh, writing to the txt file, and that's it. I think you already understand what I want to do. So let's run the script. Here we are. So this is our file. Let's just hide it. Yeah, as you can see, we don't have any top of surface now. And if I will go to the my folder here, the our txt file. So let's say I will copy the this path. And now I will go to the top of surface. After that, I will go to create from import and I will choose specify point from file let's choose that one let's go to the to that side and we will change uh, uh, csv file to the common txt so that one and let's say okay now revit asking like units is uh, our units is meters or what so i will use the meters and i'll say okay now we just need to wait and here this our topography actually as you can see, it's totally black. I will change the height view, and I will I will close the dynamo because I don't want to see any any dots. I will save it now. Okay, now I can see all these dots, and uh, actually now it's our mm, surface. So let's apply it, and you will see it now. Uh, let's make some the shadows like this Le and you, as you see we get our uh, our surface in Revit so this is really surface from Revit so it's existing uh, we use the existing tools so what we can do we can actually go to the messing we can make the sub region here right we can use it we can uh, like uh, change it as you see this is sub region our sub region or we can uh, just make the building path it's also possible let's make like building path here why not and as you see this is building path so this is way how you can create your topography topo surface for the big scale project just using the map you just need this is a map and that's it uh, and uh, all the files as, as again I will leave for free below this video you can download it use it whatever do whatever you want I hope it will be useful if you have any question if you are interested about Dynamo using on this way just let me know and I will try in next tutorial uh, like sharing uh, this knowledge more deeper than now anyway thank you guys and see you next time and that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.